An algorithm is just a good set of instructions. If you've ever assembled IKEA furniture, baked cake, or solved a Rubik's Cube, you've used an algorithm. An algorithm must be three things. First, defined. There must be a specific sequence of steps that can be taken to perform the task. It must be unambiguous. An implementation of the algorithm cannot be up to interpretation. The implementation is either correct or incorrect with no in-between. Three, it must be implementable. This means we need to be able to carry out the algorithm either with hardware or, more commonly, with software. In computer science, we want to write fast algorithms. Here's a Python implementation of an algorithm that finds the longest string in a list. It keeps track of the longest string so far in a variable. It iterates over all of the input strings and compares them to the largest so far. If it finds a longer one, then that string becomes the new longest so far. By the end, we are guaranteed to have found the longest string in the list. But how fast is it? Well, if there are only five strings in the input list, it's almost instantaneous. But what happens if we pass in five billion strings? These are the kinds of questions we ask when we're studying computer science.